My, my question is to do with the nature of God. Yes. Um, the idea that appeals to me is that, that God is within each of us. God, God, is, God is within each of us. Yes. And, and, I and also <laughs> remote from each other. Indeed. Both. This is the complete statement, not the half of it. Please continue. <laughs> Really, all I wanted to ask you was, was how does that uh, reconcile with the Muslim view of, of, of the nature of God? You have already expressed it. <laughs> <laughs> According to the whole Quran, God is closer to man than he himself is. Right. In the sense that when mind begins to take action of uh, one's conduct. Before that, God is there in his heart or in his mind. This is a very interesting statement of the Holy Quran, which means that he is so close that whenever you commit sin against his wishes, then you are held responsible. Because he was there when you did it. <laughs> so that shows that he is also distant. Because you commit sins despite his presence, which means that you have not registered his presence. And those who have not registered the presence of God, according to the degree of how degree of their unconscious in un, uh, degree of their oblivion. God is removed away from them. So according to the Holy Quran, he is farthest from man than man can think of. Farthest in the sense of uh, the nature of the existence of God, of, of course, we understand that. But also farthest in the sense that being closest, he is being treated as farthest. And this is the dilemma which the whole society faces today, unfortunately. This is the view of the Quran, of the Quran and uh, there are so many other verses of the Quran which uh, elaborate this view. So I am not putting words the, in the mouth of the Quran, it is the Quran which says that. Thank you.